Welcome to Mark Reed 757. Well, this video was a little bit out of the ordinary. I, I just kind of wanted to throw it out there. Uh, I, it's not a collab video. It's not. It's a little bit with my weight loss. Um, the main thing I want to highlight is some mega changes coming up. But before I get to that, I'm going to get to my workouts a little bit. Uh, as I said before, the weekdays I tend to stay a little more on track. I um, yesterday I didn't work out and. I, I didn't eat terrible, terrible, but I had a great Valentine's dinner set up, um, which was wonderful. I had a home-cooked meal. Uh, everything tasted great. Steak, shrimp, lobster tail. I mean, what's not to like? Anyway, the, the workouts, however, I didn't work out yesterday. I did work out Monday. I worked out Tuesday. Uh, I worked out today. Um, I didn't do a morning workout today, but I'm going to do a morning workout tomorrow, and I'm going to do another evening workout tomorrow evening. Uh, and then this weekend, I got it a little more structured, so this way, hopefully, I don't binge eat or anything. Um, I really got to stay on track. I, I'm feeling a lot better. I also wanted to touch on uh, modified workouts. See, I am a bigger person, and I know what it was like to be 420 pounds. That's an incredible amount of weight. Um, I'm down to around 332, 333, 330, somewhere around there. I uh, got a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more to lose until I reach the 100 pound mark, which I can't wait. That'll be great. Uh, but until then, I, I kind of wanted to touch base on modified workouts. Uh, I, I realized that, you know, when you get a personal trainer or something, it seems like most personal trainers, at least uh, ones that I've ran into, they tend to put you through a workout program and they don't take into consideration your limitations. And really, you know your limitations. Granted, you can always push yourself a little bit further than what you even thought you could, but it's almost as if the personal trainers want to push you way farther, way beyond than what you're capable of. And it's true, you can push yourself quite a bit beyond but then you're suffering like the next day and the next day and the next day and it turns into a week and you even you can't even do the workouts that you'd like to be able to do because you're just in too, so much pain. That was my problem being 420 pounds. I just I was so far out of shape. It was pathetic. But me being at 420 can also be like somebody at 330 right now. And that's what I have to realize. So just because I'm at 330 and someone else is at 330, it does not mean we're in the same exact amount of shape. Because I've been working out this whole time. And if they're not working out, I mean, there's I know people that are probably 290 and they're not in as good a shape as me. I even know people that are like 250, 220, and they're not in as good shape. You know, uh, okay, looks-wise, maybe they look better. But as far as having endurance and being stronger because that's what I'm realizing with these workouts I've been doing lately the last month or so I'm getting stronger I'm able to do more reps I'm able to do heavier reps I'm able to last longer within the gym so I have more endurance uh, I'm able to go on the treadmill longer or I'm able to go on the elliptical longer I'm able to swim longer uh, which I have been cutting down the cardio a little bit because I weigh myself twice a day all the time and this time I realized that when I was putting incorporating more weights, it seems like I'm getting more of a burn, you know, uh, more, I guess they would call it an afterburn. And I'm, I'm really enjoying that. And I think I'm going to incorporate a little more weights into my program, not as much cardio, but I'm still going to do cardio because I, I do believe there is a place for cardio and it just gets the blood pumping and, I'm looking more towards HIIT training. Uh, I'm even looking at beach body on demand. Um, granted, I, I, I really want to keep as much programs out of the loop, but I do feel as though programs have their place, and I won't ever push any programs on this channel, at least no, uh, nothing. I, I'll just say what works for me. And that's all I'll do. Anyway, on to another note. 
I have some major changes and I told you I was going to get to the major changes. Uh, I've been advised against this, but I feel as though this is something I want to do and something I need to do. Uh, I've been into internet marketing since 2004, in and out. I uh, haven't been real solid with it. I mean, that's probably the purpose of my videos anyway. And I believe I want to have many sections on this channel. So it's not going to be just weight loss. I mean, I already have disc golf, I have weight loss, and I have a couple other things. But I want to make a number of different sections. So when I come out with videos, it'll pertain to a certain section. Uh, a lot of people advise against that when they start channels because they say that, oh, well, your subscribers, they only want to see one thing. Well, I feel as though if somebody really likes your content, um, okay, they can still look at that section. They don't have to look at all the sections. I don't know. Uh, I'm getting off course, but uh, pro, pros and cons. I guess pros are if you don't like a certain section, you just ignore that video or whatever. And then the con would be, be you're kind of losing out on some subscribers that wouldn't ordinarily like it. But this is going to be my channel. You know, I, I want to do whatever I want to do with it. But anyway, I went way off base. Have a good one. And I'll see you on Way In Saturday. It's I am going to weigh in. I, I promise that. I I'm, got off track. I whoo, went loopy. Not like I haven't done it before, but I'll be back. Thank you, and have a great weekend.